Hi, I'm Bill, the knee pain guru, author of the best-selling book, Knees for Life. I just read an article on CBS.com that was talking about marathon runners going into the running season and a lot of the injuries that they had, and we're looking for some preventative stretches that they can do to keep from getting some of the common injuries, plantar fasciitis, shin splints, patella tendonitis, uh, issues in their hips and their back. So uh, I thought I'd shoot this video as a way of giving you a real good solid stretch that would be good for you to prevent the issues with long distance running. So of course, you're going to want to stretch your calves, your quads, and your hamstrings. That's real important. You want to make sure those are stretched out. But this is what happens is when you run for a long period, a long distance, the, the body entrains, the body patterns, the nervous system patterns linearly because we're, walking, we're running on a flat surface. What we need to do is our bodies aren't designed to run on a linear surface for an extended period of time. It causes tension patterns that cause wearing of the joints. So this is a great stretch that is awesome for loosening up the tension patterns in the ankles, the knees, the hips, and the lower back. What we're going to do is begin to change those tension patterns by walking on the insides and the outsides of the feet. Now I want to point out that it's important that you don't do this stretch in conventional running shoes. There's too much of an edge on those running shoes and it's going to be easy to turn an ankle. So either do it in, I have Converse shoes that I like, or do it in bare feet. So this is how you're going to do the stretch. You're going to walk, you're going to stand on the outsides of your ankles, you're going to bend your knees, you're going to tuck your pelvis underneath you, kind of like uh, a dog that got uh, scared. It, it runs away with that tail between its legs. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of explore the movement in the pelvis, in the knees, squat down a little bit, remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you're going to find these areas that you're tense. And when you find those areas that you're tense, breathe in those areas. And then I want you to switch it to the insides of your feet. It's the same thing. Tuck your pelvis underneath you. You'll feel the stretch in your lower back, your hips, your knees, your ankles. And what's going to happen is you're going to start relaxing those tension patterns that get entrained that get entrained in the body because of we're running on a flat surface for an extended period of time. So go ahead and try that stretch out. Leave your comments and feedback below. And if you haven't already, go check out my podcast, kneesforlifepodcast.com. That'll be in the description as well. Thank you so much, and I look forward to your feedback.